Hello and welcome back to this channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, I've drawn out a massive white circle on some cotton fabric and I'm going to be doing a smocking design on it to see how it alters on that circular way. So yeah, it comes out distorted, which is really interesting. And also then I'm going to play around with the actual pattern on the mannequin to see how it looks potentially for a garment. I've used my pattern paper there. We have got 46 inches across in diameter. And you can see that I just pinned the circle to some cotton fabric that I had. That's the largest amount of fabric that I've got. So I'm just using white cotton fabric. And this is an idea that I wanted to try doing smocking in a circle to see how it will come out really and also to sort of design it on the mannequin on the figure and I'm trying to switch up with the smocking different things that you can do with it can you chop it up re-sew it all back together trying out different shapes just doing a bit of smocking on the fabric but not all over so this is an idea that I've got today and so all I need to do now is take out the pins and then I've got my fabric which I ironed earlier. So we're ready to go. And then what I've also just done is I have done the same process again but done a small kind of collar circle there which was four inches across so it will be eight inches in diameter when I open this up. And I think really that the smocking is also it's going to be so distorted that this could go over the top of the mannequin's neck and then we could see sort of how how it looks really. Okay then, so I haven't done this one before. Let's see how it comes out. So I've just marked off every inch around the circumference of that middle circle. And I'm just going to take the, the dashes just right down to the edge of the larger circle and just making sure that there's an inch still at the top using my ruler there. So let's give this a whirl. Idea, as I said, I don't even know what pattern I'm going to do yet, so we shall see. What I'm doing here and what I've done all the way around the circle is I've done every inch, I've marked off every inch, and then I'm going to endeavour to join all the lines together for my unusual grid. See you in forever. Just done a section at a time so that the lines sort of connect well. What we've got left here is I can just do two more designs on these two strips here and then I've just cut it off down here so that there's a gap at either side of the left pattern. And what I have done all the way around is I've tried to use a red pen so you can see the actual pattern, but it's the pyramid points pattern that we've done previously. In fact, let me see if I can just show you. It is this one here. Really, really like that one. I'd like to see how it distorts going around the circle. So just to finish off with, that's literally all I've done. So hopefully you can see these designs. In fact, I'll get you the actual pattern. So it is this one here. 
So I'm going to do this first column here. I know I'm using white thread, but if I switched it to the black, it's going to show through and I don't really want that. So hopefully you can do a close up, still see the thread, fingers crossed anyway. So we're going to follow the red lines. This is the diagonal of popped a little knot at the bottom. And we're going to just do a small stitch there. We're going to pinch the fabrics together, join them up, give a little bit of a stitch there. Um, pop your needle through, give it a little tug, one knot, and then we are going to jump down to the next diagonal. So we're going to do a straight there and on the straights, we are going to just leave the thread slack, pop another little stitch in over the top of the first one to stabilize it. And then we're going to jump down over to the bottom over here of the grid and then we are going to pull the thread here and pop a little stitch in there. Now I have not done this before, I know I mentioned that before but I've not done this before so I have no idea how this is going to work out on this circular grid. but. I really want to have a go. I just want to have a go at doing different stuff with the smocking. There's so much potential with it and there's just so much to develop and explore. So I'm just going to continue having a go at some ideas. I'm going to jump down over here, a little stitch in, and we're going to draw the fabrics together like that and pop another little stitch in. Needle through the loop, pull not jump down to the next one so small stitch oh i'm going to do the whole of this row here and then i will this row here and then i'll show you again in a sec this is the first part that i've sewn and you can see that the design is getting bigger and bigger as it goes down. I guess we will just see how it goes when we do another couple of rows, but that's where we're at so far. So this is actually halfway along. You see how much it's shrunk already? And look at this side. I knew it would distort it, but yeah, that's almost unrecognizable. But I'm gonna try and get the other half done and see what we've got. I've now finished sewing everything. And what I've done is I've got that little sample I did before. So that's obviously on a normal one inch square grid. And that's what the back looks like. So what I'm doing is I'm just shuffling the fabric around. And I'm going to head towards, aiming towards something like that on the back. And then we'll turn it over and have a look at how this design has been distorted. Because it is definitely not going to look like this on a circular. I'm trying out lots of different things here because if you, like if I just turn it over, if you kind of pinch these panels up like this and have a, a little hole there and then pull the fabric through and then a hole, pull the fabric through. You get these kind of boxy effects in between, which you can kind of pinch out and create rectangular kind of spaces. Or that's kind of one way. Or the other way is they're sort of rippling down ruffles all the way down, which is like a kind of zigzag coming down, completely different to that pattern. And I'm not sure which way to keep it, actually. I think that's probably bits there, which is similar to this bit. 
but obviously it's more rectangular. I don't know if I want to keep it like that though. I think these are looking more natural. Okay, this is what I've decided on. Let's get rid of the pen and let's have a go at creating on the mannequin. I've actually just popped the smocking on the top of the mannequin, like so. And it looks kind of cute, doesn't it? Let's turn it around a little bit. And then, obviously, I just cut one side of the circle. You could imagine just having, it's like a little cape, a mini cape. You could have like a little button there. I think that's quite cute. Like that, actually. Just try it further down. You could imagine that with a, the rest of the top, sort of, it's, it's very much with tighter, very much kind of that hour shape. Broadening the shoulders, isn't it, with the smocking? Like that. Just looking at it from the back though, it actually does look like a top, doesn't it? We can imagine, as I said, just having some sort of fastening there. And then these are like the big sleeves coming out with an open back. That would be such a gorgeous top. So I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did, obviously this is free content. I bring to you a video or two each week. All I ask is that if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you could share the channel and or share the channel with a friend. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you watching regularly. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you shortly. Bye.